Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I am Doreen from Door Designs and welcome to day seven of the 12 days of Christmas. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing a gingerbread theme on a swag. And I've already started some of the stuff, but I'm going to uh, show you. It's a 32 inch swag. Honestly, I don't know where I got it from, but you can buy swag just about anywhere. I buy from several different places, so it's there's no way for me to really remember which swag, which swag came from where. But it, like I said, it's 32 inches. And then our centerpiece we're going to be using in it is going to be this Gingy. And this Gingy came from Angela at Sassy Bird Creation. And she's got an Etsy shop. I know she still has some out there. She has some with different color bands around the Gingies and things like that. But once again, that's at Sassy, S-A-S-S-Y, Bird Creation. So um, when I started this, I went ahead and added some of my mesh. And I'm using a little bit different mesh. And it's a ruffled pattern mesh. And this is what it looks like. It's 10 inch. Um, I think I got it from Craft Outlet last year or the year before, but that's what it looks like. What's nice about the ruffled uh, mesh is it doesn't ravel on the ends because of the fabric and the way it's been sewn. At least I've not had any problems with it ruffling. So what I'm doing is on my swag, I'm just taking some pieces and I'm putting them on the outside because what I want to do is kind of add a little bit of color. I'm not going to add a bunch of different greenery and stuff on this design. We're going to keep it pretty simple as far as what's going to go in it um, and not add quite as much. So when I add my Gingy, so you're going to see some of those colors in the Gingy um, come out in this. And that's why I liked the lime green and dark green because the bow I made is going to, um, the accent color is going to be that dark green. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get started and add some mesh on the other side. The mesh can be anywhere from 10 inches to 20 inches or so. I just kind of pull mine up like this and cut it and it averages about 20, 25 inches. And then I'm just going to roll the ends and then just scrunch it. So it's going to come out looking like that. And I'm just going to take it to the outer side of my swag, take two of my pine ties and twist. So we'll do a couple more pieces there. And yes, some of the mesh is going to be covered up. And I know some of you hate it when I do it, but I use it more for the accent of the outside. And then it helps me if I'm adding or gluing in a bunch of different picks and stuff. It gives me something for the pick to adhere to beside just the pine. You can put as much or as little mesh as you want in it. As you can tell, I'm not measuring it. I'm just kind of putting some in to kind of fill the outside. And once you get done, if you have a hole in your swag, you can always go back and add a piece of mesh. I'm gonna add one more piece. You're going to see how simple and easy this swag is to make. And there you have it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my Gingy to the top of it. And how I'm gonna add it, I'm not gonna cut holes. I know a lot of people do. Um, I just hate doing that in case my client wants to use it for something else. And I try to glue as least as I can um, on really nice attachments like this. So on the back of the Gingy, where the band is, it's sewn here in the middle, but I have this opening on this side 
and this side. So I could either add two zip ties, two pipe cleaners if I'm going to use a different type. But on this one, I'm going to try and just take my pine ties and take it through and just twist it off. And that way, whoever purchases it, if they want to use this for something else, let's say down the road, all they got to do is untwist it and they've got their um, attachment uh, perfect with no holes in the back. So I'm going to attach mine pretty high up on this design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up here and leave me my hole where this is going to kind of be placed right there. So let's see if this works. worked perfect. So now our Gingy's attached. He's not going anywhere. Now, yeah, he can move a little bit, but he's not going to go anywhere. He's tied down. And then we're going to put some other stuff below him. So he's secure. Okay, the next thing I want to use, I want to use this sign that I got at Hobby Lobby, and it's Baked Fresh Daily Gingerbread Bakery. And I think I'm going to put that at an angle right below my gingy. And then I'm thinking the bow is going to go down below. You could do the bow in two different ways. Here's the bow I made. Let me fluff it back up. I kept the ribbons all at an inch and a half. And it's got some candy cane, the red and white, and then you'll see that pop of green right there in the middle. And that's to bring that green in from that mesh. So you could put your bow, bring it closer. you could put your bow a little bit closer if you don't have a sign, which I think is adorable. But I think for this one, I'm gonna put the sign and I'm gonna put my bow right below my sign. So on the back of this sign, see where it's got this bracket already? I'm just gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm gonna bend that up a little bit because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just run a pine tie through that also and not worry about stapling and putting all that other stuff on it. So we'll see if this works. wrap it around the back. Okay, so now I've got my gingy and my sign attached without any glue, pipe cleaners, twist ties, anything. I just used the long pine ties to attach both of them. Okay, now I'm gonna add my bow and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take a pine tie and I'm gonna take it right through the center and attach it. There we go. And we've got the bow attached nice and full. 
Okay, if you wanted, you could stop here. You have a really cute wreath. I want to cut some of these tails off, but I am going to add some different little candies and things in it. Okay, I'm gonna start adding some stuff up around the top right-hand side of my Genji to kind of fill some of that in. It's got way too much of a bare space for my liking. So I have these really cute Genji looking poinsettia, I guess it'd be a poinsettia, it's only got three leaves, that I got at Hobby Lobby that I think are gonna look adorable. So I'm just gonna place a couple of these around to kind of get an idea. A lot of you ask me if I do a practice bef wreath before I do the real wreath. No, I do not. I kind of have an idea or a vision of what I want. And then I just kind of play around with it. I think I'm just going to put three for right now. And I think I'm going to put one up here, one down by the sign, and then my third one over on the other side. Now, you could take your pine ties and just tie them in, but I am going to glue these in a little bit. I'm going to cut the stem down a little bit. I had a ton of people ask me about my stem cutter again. Okay, it's an easy cutter. I did find some uh, uh, Wreath of Joy. They had them in stock. They were 155 So once again, at Wreath of Joy, if you go online, at least they had some as of last night. that just for a minute for my glue to dry. There we go. And here it is up close with the gingy poinsettias. Okay, I'm now gonna add some cake pops. Um, this came in a stem like this. I got these at Craft Outlet, I think last year. So let's play around with those a little bit.
and I'm going to just rip these off the stem so I can get several pieces out of it. Okay, so I'm just going to start adding these all around the outside perimeter of the swag. Some of the cake pops you won't see from the front, all of it, but you're going to see it from the sides. Okay, this one I'm going to cut off because it's hanging way too far away. right there just with the two to fill in that little hole. He's getting sweeter by the minute here. a couple more pieces and we'll have this one done. I 
put one right underneath the bow. I'll give you a close up so you can see it better. See how nice and sweet and full he's getting? And even though this doesn't stand out, when you look at your wreath, you're gonna be able to see the cake pops. I'm gonna put a little bit more behind his hat. Let me stand back just real quick so I can. I want to put I'm going to put another piece of mesh behind here I have a blank spot but I don't want to add other greeneries so I'm going to fill it with a piece of mesh one side of his face looks a, a lot fuller than the other Okay, now I feel much better. Okay, now I think we're done. What I did is I had a bunch of green pine ties st like sticking right there and I didn't have anything over here. So I stuck those behind, moved our little poinsettia around and then added another piece of mesh over here to kind of fill that in. So we have this done in 24 minutes. We used very little glue except for the um, cake pops, but everything, in, every, everything else was put in just by twisting your pine ties. So you kind of keep that in mind. So I hope you guys liked day seven of the Gingy. Um, I'll take pictures, I'll get it posted in my shop, and then day eight is gonna be the garland, and I'm actually gonna try to videotape that later today, but I'm gonna work on orders first so everybody can get their Christmas items out as quick as I can. So have a great day, and I will see you on day eight. Take care, bye-bye.